Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from Butler, Pennsylvania at the Recon Brewing Company. This is their Brave Wee, their Scottish Wee Heavy. Let's see, of course, I lost the damn tag somewhere in my, my travels. From here to there, anyway. Got the Recon Brewing Company glass, so hashtag Joe, proper glassware. This really hurts my elbow pouring this glass. So I think I have a little tendonitis going on. That's why I got the elbow patch on. The elbow brace. Picked this up when I was at the Living Dead weekend. And it's probably uh, 9.28. So this is about a week, uh, pushing more than like a week old in the growler there but like nice nice carbonation still rising from this glass probably about 5.4 alcohol by volume somewhere in there nice little chestnut ruby caramel hues in that glass right there so it's gonna roll it cheers mm, very beautiful malt treacle forward molasses Brown sugar, raisin, those tone, those tonalities. I wouldn't even say a little bit of baker's chocolate and a hint of a soft smoke, but very, very subtle. Very nice. Cheers. Dry, draw on the drier side. Earthy, peppery. Oh, lovely brown bread in the back end just hit me in like a freight train. Brown bread tonalities, very nice. Unfortunately, it's drier than the aroma. Oops, fog machine. Right now, I was really looking forward to a big, rich, uh, wee heavy, because the nose was so, like, raisins and fragrant uh, caramels and those fruits and stuff like that. Caramels, toffee, brown sugar. Mm, yum. This, when you actually drink it, is much lighter and actually much drier. So got a little brown sugar kind of tonalities. We have a little bit of fall leaf, earthy, pepperiness. A little bit of a muted bag baker's chocolate, brown bread tonalities coming through there. Hint of a burnt caramel, more on the drier side, more on that kind of earthy side. Like that fall, a little bit of that fall leaf kind of tonality in there too. Very nice. Mouse. Mouse. Not bad though. If you like the drier kind of uh, Scotch ales, wee heavies, and stuff like that, this is right up your alley. There is a difference though. It seems to me. I don't know if this was just a something that was. I broke my chairs. I don't know what I did. But I don't know what's the big difference. Um, unfortunately, I don't research too much. And I should have looked up to this because there's a big question that's been on my mind for quite a long time. Where does that borderline from Scotch Ale to Wee Heavy actually happen? You know what I mean? Um, this one's called Brave Wee. So I would have to assume... They were going for like a wee heavy, but it's boring more along that line of American Scotch Ale. Just that kind of simple, drier, more hop forward, more earthy. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful burp, by the way. Uh, beautiful earthiness, pepperiness, fall leaf kind of categories. Not really very sticky, not very sweet, savory forward. Because I have had some Scotch Ales, <coughs> especially from Scotland, that are very bold and they have that beautiful malt base that really comes through 
with those big sticky toffee caramel kind of cool tonalities. This is more on that drier side, earthy side, peppery side, hop forward side, drier side. So be that as it may, it's still very nice. Found my friend's uh, cassette from Dead Mountain, so listen to some Dead Mountain right now from New Jersey. But anyway, there. Grave Wee from Recon Brewing Company. Very nice little beer here. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's been Paul from KM Brew News. Cheers.